This view, there is a problem there. The problem is referring to is the fact that the court not, not noticed the fraud in its so-called win and declared it invalid, null and void. Rule has since gone berserk. Like a cornered bloody minded boxer, he's swaying on his feet, rocking the country and its institutions with a sudden flurry of desperate punches with the judiciary as its prime target and the fear of facing opponents in free and fair contest is the main reason for the rage. The sum total of these moves that Uhuru Kenyatta is determined to hang on to his tarnished presidential title for as long as he can, no matter the cost and the consequences to the nation. We have watched Uhuru perform these acts for some time now and remain silent in the hope that he will sober up, mature and see the need to stop. We realize we want and so today we are here to tell Uhuru Kenyatta that we will not allow him to drag Kenya down the path he is hell-bent on taking. The signs are clear. Uhuru is putting Kenya on the same path that Jaya Jame put Gambia, Red Gabbo put Ivory Coast, Blaise Kambaure put Kenya Paso. He is seeking to claim to power by touting fake number obtained through fraud and forgeries the non-existent people's mandate. If Uhuru will not stop, if he will not respect the constitution and particularly the independent judiciary that Kenyans fought so hard to bring to fruition, Kenyans are prepared to stop him. A president cannot be a product of forgery and fraud.